right, so this is uh, Annie Caverns. I think they just started their channel. They literally have seven subscribers. So if anyone's watching this, please give Annie Caverns or an yeah, Annie Cavern uh, like, subscribe, share, follow, and comment for this video if you end up liking it. Like because you like the content. Don't just follow because I said so. So give them a follow. Oh my god, just a burp. Give them a follow and all that great stuff when you get the chance. I'll appreciate <laughs> I oh, appreciate if you guys did that, but with that said, let's get down to business. I'm going to actually start the lives and see where this goes. All right. Okay. Hold on. Turn this like this. Okay. For a little bit. Let's see where that goes. Okay. All right, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the top 10 manga you absolutely need to check out this fall 2024. We've got a diverse list featuring everything JR. from thrilling new releases to oh highly man, it's a good thing I wasn't here when he mentioned RuneScape. Whether you're a seasoned manga enthusiast yeah. or new to the scene, there's something here to get excited about. Let's jump right in. Starting off our list is Dark Rebirth by Ryota Mori. This manga has been making waves with its intense, grim storyline set in a dystopian world where survival is a constant battle. The plot follows a young warrior who embarks on a relentless quest for revenge against a corrupt empire that destroyed his home and family. Mori's narrative is rich with detailed world-building and morally complex characters, making each encounter both thrilling and thought-provoking. The action scenes are brutal and beautifully illustrated, capturing the raw desperation of a world where every battle could be the last. Readers will find themselves on the edge of their seats as the protagonist uncovers hidden truths and faces ever-increasing dangers. Next up is Spectral Realm by Aiko Takahashi. This supernatural mystery combines eerie, spine-chilling elements with a gripping detective story. The series centers around a detective who possesses the rare and unsettling ability to see and interact with ghosts. Tasked with solving a series of mysterious and supernatural crimes, the detective must navigate a complex web of ghostly secrets and hidden agendas. Takahashi's ability to create a haunting atmosphere and deliver unexpected plot twists makes Spectral Realm a must-read for fans of ghost stories and psychological thrills. As the detective delves deeper into each case, readers will be captivated by the mounting tension and the eerie revelations that blur the line between the living and the dead. Coming in at number 3 is Eclipse Chronicles by Hiroshi Yamamoto. This manga stands out with its unique blend of futuristic technology and ancient mythology. Set in a world where advanced tech and mystical elements intertwine, the story follows a group of rebels fighting against a tyrannical empire that seeks to control both the physical and metaphysical realms. Yamamoto crafts a fast-paced and imaginative narrative filled with high-stakes battles and intricate world-building. The clash between futuristic technology and ancient powers creates a dynamic and thrilling backdrop for the characters' struggles. As the rebels fight to overthrow their oppressors, readers will be immersed in a thrilling adventure where every turn brings new challenges and breathtaking action. At number 4, we have, Crimson Bloodline, by Yuki Nakamura. This dark fantasy manga explores a forbidden bloodline with immense magical powers. The story follows the protagonist, who discovers their connection to this powerful lineage amidst a world of political intrigue and hidden dangers. Nakamura's narrative is rich with intricate plot twists and morally ambiguous characters, adding depth to the dark and immersive world. The tension escalates as the protagonist grapples with their newfound powers and the consequences of their family's secrets. The high stakes and the constant threat of betrayal create a suspenseful and thrilling reading experience, making Crimson Bloodline a standout in the fantasy genre. Next on our list is The Phantom's Gambit by Mei Tanaka. This psychological thriller delves into the high-stakes world of a secretive gambling society where each game carries life-or-death consequences. The protagonist, a skilled gambler, becomes embroiled in a dangerous game of wits and strategy that reveals the darker side of human nature. Tanaka's ability to build suspense and craft intricate, 
mind-bending scenarios keeps readers engaged as they follow the twists and turns of the gambling games. The tension mounts with each strategic move and psychological maneuver, making The Phantom's Gambit a riveting red for I do like the art. It's very clean. Very sharp. I like the... Hey, Donna. Donna. Hey, Donna. It looks really cool. I like the I like the cleanness. Those who enjoy a blend of psychological drama and high stakes thrills. Sixth on our list is Frozen Tides by Haruto Kagiyama. Set in a world ruled by ice magic, this manga follows a young mage's struggle to overthrow a tyrannical empire that has oppressed her people. The narrative is filled with epic battles and magical duels, beautifully illustrated to capture the intensity of the magical conflicts. Kagiyama's world-building is impressive, creating a vivid and immersive setting where magic and power dynamics drive the story. The protagonist's journey is fraught with danger and excitement, as she navigates a world of icy magic and political intrigue. Frozen Tides offers a thrilling adventure with a blend of stunning visuals and compelling storytelling. Number 7 is Echoes of Eternity by Sakura Yamada. This series combines historical settings with fantastical elements, focusing on a secret society dedicated to protecting ancient relics of immense power. The narrative delves into the society's I'm hidden conflicts and the dangerous secrets they guard. Yamada's storytelling weaves historical intrigue with magical today. lore, creating a rich and engaging experience. The suspense builds uh, as the protagonist uncovers mm, hidden dangers and uncovers know. ancient mysteries You're that threaten to disrupt the delicate You're balance us. of their world. The blend of history and fantasy creates a captivating narrative that keeps readers on the edge of their seats. At number 8, we have Blade of Shadows by Kenji Ito. This samurai epic immerses readers in a world of honor, betrayal, and deadly duels. The story follows a skilled swordsman who becomes entangled in a web of political intrigue and personal vendettas. Ito's attention to historical detail and action choreography brings the samurai era to life, with each duel and confrontation packed with tension and drama. The protagonist's journey through a landscape of honor and betrayal is thrilling and intense, making Blade Shadows by Kenji Ito. This samurai epic immerses readers in a world of honor, betrayal, and deadly duels. The story follows a skilled swordsman who becomes entangled in a web of political intrigue and personal vendettas. Ito's attention to historical detail and action choreography brings the samurai era to life, with each duel and confrontation packed with tension and drama. The protagonist's journey through a landscape of honor and betrayal is thrilling and intense, making Blade of Shadows a must-read for fans of historical dramas and action-packed narratives. Ninth on the list is Neon Dystopia by Rina Kobayashi. This cyberpunk series envisions a future where society is sharply divided by technology and wealth. The story follows a group of rebels fighting against a corrupt and oppressive system in a visually striking and dystopian world. Kobayashi's depiction of a high-tech, divided society creates a gripping narrative filled with digital espionage and societal upheaval. The thrill comes from the intense confrontations and high-tech escapades as the characters navigate a world of advanced technology and social injustice. Neon Dystopia offers an exciting and thought-provoking read for fans of the cyberpunk genre. Finally, we have Requiem of the Stars by Taro Shinoda. This space opera features epic interstellar conflicts and a vast cast of characters. The narrative explores themes of power, destiny, and survival across the cosmos, with breathtaking space battles and political intrigue. Shinoda's imaginative world-building and dramatic storytelling create a captivating experience, as readers follow the characters through grand spacefaring adventures. The blend of high-stakes conflict and intricate plot twists ensures that- Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm seeing more like Western-looking books that he's recommending. It was anime, then it went left. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, it went from like these weird books, like- Okay, there's one anime one I see. Well, it looked like a mo uh, 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 a manga. But I just now noticed it. I'm sorry if I wasn't paying attention to that. I just now noticed it, it looks more like Western books. I don't know what what's that about. Because you said manga. You're not supposed to be showing see Western books. It's weird. Adventures. 
The blend of high-stakes conflict and intricate plot Very twists weird. ensures that Requiem of the Stars delivers an exhilarating and immersive reading from. experience. I just joined and that and wraps up our list of manga you need to watch this fall Thank 2024. Which one are you most excited to dive into? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our latest updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Interesting. So that was a. Uh, Ryaga Samurai. Maybe it's Western inspired, I don't know. I don't know, because I see the covers, so that was throws me off. But it could be Western inspired, I don't know. Because I know that the Japanese just don't only draw an anime. Like, they like they have, like, animes like um, Vinland Saga that's very European-based. So, like, it's more realistic. So I can see probably you didn't have the, the covers, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. So with that said, like, subscribe, share, follow, and comment. I hope you guys enjoy this. For those who watch this manga reaction slash recommendation, I hope you guys found something nice over here on YouTube and you um, over there on YouTube Horizontal. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.